Welcome everyone back to Cat Tales. I'm Kathy Palmer and behind my camera trying to make me look okay is none other than Ken Stomsky. While you're on vacation this week or anytime, we try to bring you some fun stories for Channel 15, WPCP, and radio programming for our community. The story I'm going to share with you again today is another folk tale. Now, boys and girls, we've talked about folk tales before, and we know that back in the day, and there was a day, that we didn't have social media, we didn't have television, we didn't even have telephones. So stories were spread from word to word and passed down through generations. Every country, every culture has their own story. Here in America, we have stories like Paul Bunyan, Johnny Appleseed, Joe Magarak. Some of the stories are based on true characters like Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone. But some of the stories are exaggerated. For example, there is a story that tells that Pecos Bill in Texas got very thirsty one day because he was on the desert. And so he took a stick and he dug the Rio Grande River. Now I'm pretty sure that's not true. Nor do I really think that Davy Crockett could tame a bear just by grinning at it. But still, folk tales are fun to tell. Usually, they're stories about somebody very heroic or someone who's done a good deed, and they want you to learn a lesson in the end. Today's folk tale is from India, and it's the story about the tiger, the Brahmin, and the jackal. Now, I'm sure you know what a tiger is. A Brahmin is a very, very well-known person in India. He might be a priest or a teacher, but he's supposed to be someone who has a certain amount of respectability. The jackal is a wild dog. We have wild dogs here like coyotes and wolves. The jackal is also thought to be very clever, and there are many folk tales about jackals or coyotes here in our country. So here's my folk tale called The Tiger, the Brahmin, the Jackal, and I really hope you enjoy it. Now one day, one day as it were, deep in India, there was a Brahmin walking by, and he could hear something yelling, help, help, let me out, let me out. And he walked along, and he found a tiger. And the tiger was in a cage, and the Brahmin said, oh dear, Whatever is happening to you, tiger? And the tiger said, Oh, please, oh, please, kind Brahmin. I have been put in this cage, and I do need to get out. Please get me out. Oh, well, the Brahmin thought about it a while, and he said, No, no, tiger, I, I do not believe I should do that because you are a tiger. And, of course, if I let you out, then you will eat me. Oh, piffle, said the tiger. I should not do that. Why, I promise if you let me out, I shall give you great riches. Well, that is a kind offer, said the Brahmin. I, I do indeed think that's nice of you, but I'm a Brahmin. I, I have no need for great riches. I have everything that I choose. Well, said the tiger, I tell you what. If you let me out, then I shall be your servant for life. And the Brahmin thought, well, that is indeed a kind offer, but you see, I, I have no need of any servants. I have all the assistance that I need, so no, no, I don't, I don't believe I need that. Oh, please, said the tiger most piteously, if you do not let me out. I shall die in here of hunger and thirst. And oh, Brahmin, you would not wish that on your conscience. I can tell. Well, appearing to his better nature was indeed, indeed something that made the Brahmin think. So he said, very well, tiger, but you must promise that you shall not eat me once I free you. Oh, oh, oh. Nonsense, said the tiger. Why, I wouldn't think of doing that. So, of course, everyone, 
the Brahmin unlocked the gate and the tiger immediately jumped out and grabbed the Brahmin and said, aha, now I shall eat you. Wait, said the Brahmin, no, 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 that is not fair. Why, you promised you would not do so. Ah, said the tiger, but you see, I am a tiger and you should have known, Brahmin, that it is what I would do. And the Brahmin thought for a moment and he shook a little and he said, oh, oh, please, friend tiger, I shall make a bargain with you. I shall ask questions of three things that I meet and if I can find one of them to agree that you have been unfair, then you must let me go free. Well, thought the tiger, very well. You may ask your three questions of three things that you meet, but alas, if they do not agree with you, then I get to eat you. All right, said the Brahmin. And so the Brahmin traveled a little way and, and he happened to see a tree, a tree. And he walked over to the tree and he said, oh, friend tree, I need to ask you a question. You see, the tiger was in his cage and, and I let him out, but he had promised not to eat me. But you see, now that I've let him out, he wishes to eat me. Please, friend tree, do you think that is fair? And the tree looked down at the Brahmin and the tree said, you are asking a favor of me. Why, I do nothing but give you shade and I keep you cool in the heat. And what do you do? but rip off my branches for your animals and stand under me and lean against me or cut me down. No, I should not do you favors. I owe you nothing. Be on your way. <laughs> and he could hear the tiger chuckling at that answer. Now where shall I go, thought the Brahmin. Oh, wait, and he spied a water buffalo. So he went over to the water buffalo and he said, Friend Buffalo, you see, I am in a bit of a pickle. You see, I have let the tiger out of his cage, but now he's going to eat me, and, and I don't feel that is fair. If you will agree with me, he shall indeed let me go. And the water buffalo looked at the Brahmin, and he said to him, Fair? Fair? Let me tell you about fair, Brahmin. When I was young, oh, I could work and you fed me well, and you sheltered me, and you took care of me. But now that I am old, you tie me out and leave me to fend for myself, and you ignore me, for I am no use to a man. No, Brahmin, no, I shall not aid you. I see no need to be your friend and help you out. Well, thought the Brahmin, and then he could hear the tiger, that's two, that's two, you only have three. You must give up, Brahman, and come back. No, 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 I have one more, said the Brahman. And he looked down and he saw the road and he said, oh, friend road. And once again, he told the story about letting the tiger out. And he said, is that fair, friend road, is that fair? And the road sat up and he looked at the Brahmin and he said, is what fair? Why I do nothing but lead you on the path to where you need to be. And what do you do for me? But you stomp on me and you drop your ashes on me and you leave your foot scuffs on me. And not once, not once do you ever thank me for helping you. No, no Brahmin, be on your way. Be on your way to your own fate. I choose not to help you. And so with his head down and a heavy heart, the Brahmin headed back to the tiger, who by now was tying on his bib and getting his knife and fork ready. Well, not really, but I like the idea of a tiger wearing a bib. But he walked back and the tiger said, and now we shall begin. Oh, please, said the Brahmin, it, it, this is not fair. And he heard a voice coming down the road. And the voice said, what is not fair? And they saw a jackal approaching them. And the jackal said, why, 
why, what is going on here? I, I see a tiger and I see a Brahmin. Please, kind Brahmin, what is going on? And so the Brahmin started to explain. And the tiger said, no, 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 no. You have had your three chances. You don't get another chance. But the jackal said, oh, friend tiger, I, I'm just curious. I, I would never, ever think of interfering. Now, Brahmin, tell me your story. And the Brahmin proceeded to explain what had happened with the tiger and the cage. And he said, well, Jackal, you see, I was walking by the cage, and the tiger was in the cage, and the tiger promised he wouldn't eat me, and so I let him out, but now he's going to eat me, and I do not think it is fair. Oh, one moment, w one moment, said the jackal. I, I, don't, I don't quite understand the story. Could, could you repeat the story? And so again, very patiently, the Brahmin repeated what had happened. Meanwhile, the tiger stood there tapping his toe and getting very, very, very impatient and perhaps a little bit hungrier. And the jackal looked at him and he said, no, no, you, you, are, you are making my brain dizzy. I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure I understand what was happening. Now, explain it to me again. Brahmin was standing there, and the tiger went walking by. No, 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 said the Brahmin. I was standing there. Oh, wait, no, I, no, 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 I've got it, said the jackal. You were standing there, and the cage went walking. No, 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 no. I was standing there, and no, 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 no. The tiger said, no, stop. No, I'll explain it. The Brahmin was there, the cage was there, and I, I, oh wait, I understand, I understand. I understand, said the jackal. I now get it, I get it, I get it. The Brahmin was there, the tiger was there, the cage was there, and I went walking by. No, you stupid fool, said the tiger. No, 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 no. I wasn't, you weren't walking by. I was there. The Brahmin was there. The cage was there. And I was in the cage. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I get it now, said the jackal. I was in the cage. No, 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 said the tiger, who by now is getting hungrier and more irate. You were not in the cage. I, the tiger, was in the cage. Now do you understand? Wait said the jackal. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I get it. I do get it. The tiger was in the cage. Yes, said the tiger. At last. I was in the cage. Oh, yes, said the jackal. Now I finally understand. Brahmin, cage, tiger, jackal. I under... No. No, 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 no. The, I, have, I have one more tiny question. Please, friend tiger, but how did you get in the cage? I'm confused. What do you mean, how did I get in the cage, said the tiger. Well, you are not in the cage. You are standing there. How did you get into the cage in the first place? Why, in the usual way, roared the tiger. Oh, yeah, no. No, I, I still don't understand. What is the usual way, tiger? Why like this, you fool? And with that, the tiger jumped in the cage. Back where he was, the jackal ran up to the cage, slammed the door, and said, oh, I thank you, friend tiger. Now I understand. And if you don't mind, I do think things are probably best well left as they were in the beginning. Shall we go, friend Brahmin? And with that, the Brahmin and the jackal walked off down the road together. And they did remember to thank the road. So there's our story of the tiger, the Brahmin, and the jackal. What I learned, or I think the lesson they wanted you to learn, is 
Sometimes we can solve things just by being clever. And I think the jackal was the cleverest of all. So this week when you're home from school and you don't have anything that you want to do, look up some old folk tales. I'm sure if you have your parents help you Google them, you'll find many Google tales to Google. Look up Johnny Appleseed. Look up Paul Bunyan. Look up um, Davy Crockett and Daniel Boone. And while you're at it, you can also look up some real characters that we had, like Annie Oakley. Look up Pecos Bill. These are all well-known folk tales right from our country. And we'll see you again soon. Thank you for being good listeners. Watch out for that tiger in the cage. <laughs>